What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we continue the gauntlet series for the status between three A and C earbuds. Their opponent today will be one of my favorite ones to wear, and it is the Sony WF-1000XM4s. This should be a really good head-to-head, -head, so without further ado, let's get into it. All right, we're back in. Let's go ahead and jump into uh, pricing and specs. We'll start off with the the WF-1000 XM4s. Uh, they came out originally at $279.99. Uh, you may get them now uh, on sale or at a cheaper price. Uh, you can get them on uh, Sony as well as Amazon. Uh, they do have a, I guess you would call a white or not even white, like a tan color uh, ver option for these as well. Uh, as far as Bluetooth versions, when we talk specs, uh, they wrap blue, <laughs> excuse me, they have Bluetooth 5.2 uh, uh, with the support codex of SBC, AAC, and LDAC. Um, as far as, and noise canceling, as we all know, they have some of the best noise canceling uh, property or software uh in the game outside of the uh bose quiet comfort uh two earbuds uh as far as uh battery life with noise canceling turned on you can get eight hours of playback on these uh which is very good get, get you through an entire work day uh with noise canceling turned off you can get 12 hours in case you're working ot <laughs> all right with the case you can get up to 24 hours of playback time um <clears throat> So you got plenty of time there. The case does support fast charge. Five minutes would get you an hour of playback time and the case itself does support wireless charging. As far as water resistance, the earbuds are rated at IPX4. So getting taking them to the gym, uh, getting caught in the rain, not a problem there at all. As far as special features, they do support fast pairing and uh, they unfortunately they do not as of yet have multi-point uh, pairing or connectivity uh, installed on them. I'm still waiting on that update. Um, I don't know what's taking it on. I know what's taking so long on it, but uh, I can't, I hope they hurry up and uh, release that update for uh, these earbuds. All right, let's go ahead and take switch over to the uh, status between three A and C's. These guys came in originally at 200 bucks 199 you can only get these as of right now on the status website as always i will leave links in the description for both of these earbuds so you can go ahead and uh take a, advantage of their pricing as far as uh bluetooth version these guys have bluetooth 5.2 as well and the codec they supports are aac sbc and aptx okay as far as noise canceling they do have noise canceling uh uh, software on there, which is uh, pretty good. I uh, have yet to um, really put it to the through the uh, paces, but from using them on a daily basis, it has been pretty good. All right, as far as battery life, now the earbuds themselves with noise canceling on, you can get eight hours of playback time. With noise canceling turned off, you get 12 hours of playback time, similar exactly just like the XM4s. Uh, the case does support wireless charging. However, fast charge uh, has not been defined by status. And uh, everything I've, all my research, they have not mentioned anything about uh, whether these support fast charge or not. So I'm going to say no for right now. But if I do hear anything different in the, in the future, I will go ahead and update uh, the description below uh, with that accordingly. All right, as far as uh, water resistance, you would get uh, IPX5 um, rating. So again, getting caught at the gym or getting sweaty at the gym and getting caught in the rain is not a problem. And as far as special features, these guys support have a hybrid triple driver setup. You got one 10 millimeter uh, dynamic driver and two uh, balance armature drivers, which will help Tremendously with sound and bass. You have the uh, environmental noise reduction uh, feature for phone calls, so you get clear uh, sound there. The case they also support multi-point connectivity, and I do have app support just like the uh, XM4s. All right, so both of them are very loaded earbuds. Lots of stuff on them. 
what we want to do next is uh, we're going to take a look at them. Stay strapped in. All right, let's pull these guys out and we'll take a look at each of them so we can compare and contrast. As you can see, the uh, status, um, I'm just going to call them the three ANCs moving forward. The three, all right, so as you can see, the three ANCs are ta have their uh, their spin on a stem style earbud. Is, you know, it's got its own unique shape uh, and it just, you know, they just stand out. All right. As we can take a look as they see how they differ between the uh, XM4s. Uh, as you can see, they're a bigger, a uh, longer earbud. Uh, as we can take a look, it's a little wider as well. Uh, this one, these will protrude out the ear a little, out the ear a bit, whereas the uh, XM3s, or excuse me, XM4s will sit inside the ear well both of these guys are this despite their look are very very comfortable uh in the ear for long-term usage all right as we focus primarily on the x and fours right now i like the ergonomic how it's rounded in the back these are again these are one of my favorite earbuds to wear uh long term i like using these as you can see i went ahead and changed the tips i think these are the uh cp360 uh from spinfit uh I went ahead and switched off from the uh, the foam, the memory foam, and got these on. I think I got one of them playing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I had the, <laughs> the status playing some music here. All right, so again, like I was saying, a very comfortable earbud. I like that you got a nice, huge, nice uh, size surface area for the touch controls. Uh, again, a very, uh, light earbud. Uh, just, I just love the way these look in the air. I just love the way these feel. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the, uh, B, the three ANCs. Again, like I said, they take their, they pretty much like the original, um, between pros. They got their own version of their own take on the stem style, uh, earbud. I like the fact that they do give you that matte and gloss combination. I do like that contrast. Uh, of course, up here, the top part is your touchpad, um, and you do have a combination. You have a, you got the actual physical button at the top, and you have a touchpad uh, that you can manipulate. I uh, think you know, make some, you know, eliminate pay uh, <laughs> manipulate. If I can talk, oh my goodness, play pause and other features, and we'll talk about that stuff in the app. All right, again. A very uh, unique style on these guys. So what we want to do is we'll go ahead and put these in. Let me put these back. I'm going to pull out my phone, and we're going to take a look at them in the air. All right, as you can see here with the x fours, they do take up the entire air well. Uh, let me back up a little bit. There we go. And, we take, and they get a nice, secure fit in. Again, proper ear tips uh, make all the difference as far as uh, fit, feel, and noise canceling, as well as audio, as long as way how your audio sound. Uh, again, fills up completely. Very light in the ear, so long term issues not no problem there. But again, I just like the way, and they're kind of discreet. I mean, they might bubble out just a little bit, but still, they're very a uh, very discreet uh, earbud. All right, so. All right, as you can see here. Again, they don't take up a lot of the air well, uh, but you do get uh, you do have a wing on there, so it does keep these guys uh, firmly in place. Um, so you can take these to the gym. You can have them on in in there. Uh, again, you got that shortened. Uh, I guess you want to call it a stem style. I call it a stem style because it has that shortened line. Uh, but again, uh, very light in the air, well balanced. Even though this portion here sticks out outside the air a little bit. It's well balanced, so you don't have to worry about it uh like moving around a lot or anything like that. Or you know, so it's a, a very uh nicely uh nicely fit in the earbud. And again, no ear fatigue uh when wearing them or feeling like uh I am uh like I got like it's like blocking up like our pressure's building in the ear canal, same as with the uh XM4. So these guys are very comfortable in the air. So what we're going to do again now, again, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and get into the apps. We're going to start off with the XM4s and see what they got.
stay strapped in. All right, we're back in. We got the XM fours already paired up and then the and ready to go. Let's go ahead and then jump into their app. Okay, as you can see here, let me grab my stylus slash pointer. All right, as you can see here, you got the uh, name of the earbuds, the codec that they're using, and you, of course, you got the picture of the earbuds in case and their respective battery levels. Up here, you have power buttons where you can turn off the app, and of course, you've got the, the actual menu, three dot menu, where you can go into uh, other features. We'll tackle that in a second. Here on the main page, you have uh, your status alt, your uh, adaptive sound control where you can quickly activate well, activate it, switching from noise canceling to to, a, to transparency and so on. And of course you have your uh, your um, audio controls here. You got your play, pause, skip, and reverse tracks. You got your volume slider here as well. And then of course down below, you got your different options here. Right now we are in the, the headphone section. And I forgot to mention this, I jumped right over this portion here where you got your status. This is called your status uh, screen. And then of course you got your sound and system. So let's go ahead and jump into sound. Here you can see, you can, you can go ahead and change your ambient sound control. From here, you can drop it down. You got drops in noise canceling, ambient sound and off. Of course, noise canceling, you can do uh, just regular noise canceling or automatic wind noise reduction. And of course, with the ambient sound, you got your slider, so you can turn it all the way up, so you can hear. Oops, sorry. You can get uh, more of your ambient sound from around. You can get that in, or you can dial it way back where you get a least amount. And of course, you can turn it off as well. And then I usually leave it right there when I have ambient on, or you can just go ahead and check the box here and focus strictly on voice when someone is talking to you. It will suppress the noise around you, all right? Moving on, you got your speak to chat option. I have that turned off for right now, but basically you, once you start talking, it will either uh, mute or lower your audio. And then after a few seconds of being of not talking, the audio will return back to the original uh, volume level. Of course, you got your uh, equalizer here. Right now we're in a my custom setting. You do have different options. You have two custom uh, controls. You have off, and then you got your other presets that you can go through. All right. And of course you hit the gear here. It will take you in where you can go ahead and set up your own uh, customized settings. And of course you can have your base uh, set up. You can move your base up and down at however you like uh, for it. Okay. And of course, moving down, you've got your 360 reality audio setup. This will give you like their, their version of spatial audio. Uh, but it, ha it only works uh, with streaming uh, device, uh, streaming services. It's not something that you can put on and just have it on no matter what you're wa listening to or watching. Like you couldn't have that spatial audio for like if you're watching movies with these earbuds on or something like that. That doesn't work that way. Um, as far as your Bluetooth connect quality, I have mine set to stable priority, you know, for the prioritized debate stable connection. If you want quality sound, this will allow you to, to use LDAC feature. Um, but I just have my set to, of course, as you can see here to our stable connection, because my phone does not support the LDAC feature. And of course you got the DSEE extreme. This is for, uh, you will turn this on. If you're listening to, uh, audio files that are, have low volume, you can use this to, to boost the volume of those audio files. Or, or video files that you're watching, it will just increase that. Now, if you have a good sounding uh, vi uh, code or video or audio you're listening to, you don't want this because it would then enhance that even worse, even more, and could possibly cause some hearing damage. So you want to be careful with that. All right. And now we're going to move on to the system real quick. And here you have, uh, you know, your voice assistant. I have mine turned off, so that way I can use the earbuds independently. If you have that turned on, you only be able to use the right earbud by itself. All right. And then of course you got your ambient controls. This will tell you exactly hit the gear here. You can go and switch your left earbud, which you want them to do your right earbud, which you wanted to do right now. I have mine set for ambient control and quick attention. My left earbud, my right earbud does my playback, uh, tap and pause, double tap to skip 
uh, and triple tap to reverse. So you don't have all the options available to you. Um, you only allowed a certain few depending on which category here you select. You got, you know, like I say, ambient sound control, playback control, volume control, none, none assigned. So you, you don't, you can't have it all on these ones, which is a shame. All right. So moving on down, you got your ambient, you know, back again with the sound control options. This will tell you exactly how you want to cycle through. All right. You want to either cycle through uh, noise canceling and ambient, ambient sound or off. I just have it go through those two because I'm going to use only one of them. I'm never, I will never turn it off. So I'm going to cycle it through one of those. All right. Then of course you got your ear tip, the optimal ear tip test. You can just go ahead and do that. You got your auto power off. I have my, you know, I have it turned off there. So it doesn't, uh, don't automatically power off here and then, okay, give me that. And then of course it says pause when the headphones is taken off, I'll always have that turned off. So turned on rather. So when you take your earbud out, it automatically pauses your audio, put it back in, it resumes. Okay. And then of course you got your notification guides, uh, automatic software down, download, uh, and then initializing settings. Basically you can restore it back to factory. All right. And those are the quick run throughs on the, on the, uh, in the headphones app, if you go to activity here at the bottom, up oh, it will tell you all your um, all your activity with the headphones or earbuds that you're using. All you know, just something fun to keep in, the, you know, to keep track of. And of course, you got your safe listening option here. To teach you, you walk you through how to safely uh, utilize and listen to these earbuds. And then of course, you got your log and tell you exactly how long you've been how much time you use each Sony device. As you can see, I use the XM5, XM4 is a lot more than the uh, Link Buds S, although that's growing a little bit since the last time. All right, then of course, far over here, you like I said, you got your badges and everything there. All right, and then you got your information option down here at the bottom. It'll give you like notifications or updates um, and, or updates that are coming or updates that's gonna happen. And then of course, you got your tips here on how to use, you know, your tips on how to use the earbuds you, with your 360 reality setup and all that stuff like that. All right. And that was actually, you know what, let's do one more thing. Let's go up here. Three dots. We'll give you your firmware version, uh, and a, in a tutorial, you can, where you can back up your settings and restore your settings. If you get new earbuds and then about this app and the help option there. And that concludes the walkthrough of the the Sony app for the uh, XM4s. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and get these swapped out and we'll take pair up the uh, three ANCs and take a walk through the status audio app. So stay strapped in. All right, we're back in. We got the three ANCs already paired up and let's go ahead and dive into the uh, status audio app. As you can see, you got status at the top. You got the power button where you can turn off the app here. You got a picture of the earbuds and their respective battery levels right below there. You got the name of the earbuds and of course their firmware versions for each to left and right. All right, moving down, you got your noise canceling, uh, toggles. You can switch on active noise canceling and you, you know, toggle in between them. And then you, if you switch one, the other one automatically turns off or you can just turn them all off altogether. But I like mine on. All right. Moving down, you got your sound mode. You tap on there. It will take you into uh, the sound settings where, of course, you have your uh, signature sounds or your presets here. You got status signature, status audio file, and the uh, original between pro settings. Um, you can utilize them, or you can scroll down here and create your own with the graphic, with the EQ. Let's go ahead and take a look inside real quick. All right, we had to switch it over. And now in here, you could go ahead and make changes if you want. And for my phone, because it thinks my phone is a tablet, I have to go ahead and pull up the second screen and span it out to both. So then I could go ahead into this portion, into this portion of it. Once I make my changes, and I'll, they'll allow me to sa uh, save it here because it thinks my, like I said, it thinks my phone is a tablet. All right. But you can, if you're using your, your standard, uh, um, 
Android or iPhone, you won't have to have that issue there. Or if you're doing it on a tablet, you'll still be able to see it because the screen's big enough. All right. So then, of course, I got two set up here. Um, let's go ahead and uh, back up out into the home. We'll go back to the home page. And, of course, you have your firmware version at the bottom for the app anyway. This is the app version. This is up here is the firmware version for the earbuds. All right. And we move over. We were just here with the headphones. So now, obviously, you go here to the far right. This is where you'll do the firmware. You can check for updates for your earbud for the um yeah for the earbuds here. They'll tell you what version you're on currently, and if there's a new update, it'll show up here as well. And that is it for the status uh, audio app. Very neat, very clean. Um, just gives you exactly what you need. Uh, no frills, no 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 anything else added to it. Uh, I like the simplicity of it. Um, I don't, I, I, I do. I just, uh, just because of the way my phone's set up, I have to go that extra, uh, do the extra mile just to set up the, uh, the EQ that I like. But once I have it set up, it's good to go. All right. So what we're going to do is next is we're going to go ahead and do the uh, mic test between the two, and then we'll follow that with a sound test. So stay strapped in. This is a mic test with the Sony WF-1000XM4s in a semi-quiet location. This is a mic test with the Sony WF-1000XM4s in a semi-quiet location. This is a mic test with the Sony WF-1000XM4s in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Sony WF-1000XM4s in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the status between three ANC earbuds in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the status between three A and C earbuds in a crowded or a quiet location. This is a mic test with the status between three A and C earbuds in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the status between three A and C earbuds in a crowded location. Are right, we back in? We got the XM4 fours paired up in the ears. We're in our app. As you can see here, we got it set for noise canceling as far as their uh, ambient sound controls. And we got the equalizer zeroed out for now. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go ahead and pull out our second screen and pull up our music. <clears throat> we will start off with old money. Let's go. Wait a minute, make sure we are at our my preferred audio uh, setting. Let's do it. Let me back up. All right, here we go. All right. Nice and loud. Very. The vo vocals are okay. Not as, not as clear, but still good. All right. And we got them. You get, you got a nice little sound stage there with the piano. Let's go ahead and hit my uh, settings here. Okay, got a little brighter. Very nice. Sounds really good. This is a really good song and to test on. Excellent sound. All right. Okay. Uh, what, just like I said, uh, with the, uh, EQ zeroed out, you still got that warm, uh, warm sound. Um, and of course the vocals weren't as, they were clear, but they weren't as crisp as, or as clear as I would like them. But then when I added my, uh, settings to them, everything got a little bit brighter. Uh, the vocals got a little bit more clean, more clear than I just break where I liked it. Um, it just sound really good. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to jump into another song here. Let's go into uh, let's do uh, Tupac. Yeah, let's 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 do uh, yeah, you know what? Let's do Under Pressure. There we go. Oh, let me zero out. All right, we zeroed out just in time. 
Now right, you got that rumbling bass here. Okay, the vocals are a little low compared to the bass, but the bass is just pounding. All right. All right, let me go ahead and hit mine. Ah, next one. All right, this is my setting. Okay, again, the bass is so overpowering on these. Just the vocals seem a little lower. Let's go. Let's go over here to bright. Now this is better, but yeah, you can definitely tell the difference. The bass. Let me pull them. The bass is is powerful. It's overpowering. The vocals are taking a hit. Um, no matter where I go on here, it seems like the vocals are suppressed a little bit in that song. But the bass is just it is it, is is brain rattling. It, it it you're thumping on here. It's it's ridiculous. All right, let me go ahead and zip and zero that out. And we are going to going home. Okay, again, one of them, a nice sound stage, nice sub bass with the uh, keyboard, and you know you got your background instruments, the drums, nice clean sound with the saxophone. Let me go ahead and select my setting. Now it just got a lot clearer, but everything is a little more balanced. The bass is, is perfect right where it's at. The sub bass is nice. This is a very good sound. Just sounds really good. I love that song. It, it, it's a good sound. It was when it was zeroed out, the bass seemed uh, a little bit more prominent. Um, but you did good. You did get a good, clean uh, lead saxophone in that song. Uh, just like you did get good, clean uh, vocals on the uh, the first song. But the second song, the bass was more aggressive and it almost like overshadowed uh, the vocals. Um, when I did switch into my settings, um, it didn't it didn't improve on the first and third songs, but the second song you got more of the same. So uh, take it, and this is just me here. This is just my uh, personal opinion, uh, but take it as you will there. Uh, but that's how I feel when when it came to that specific song as opposed to the other two. All right, so what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and get these guys swapped out. We're going to go ahead and uh, get the uh, three ANCs paired up and run them through the test. Stay strapped in. All right, we're back in. We got the status uh, three ANC between three ANCs, that is, paired up and in the ears. We are in the app, obviously. And let's go ahead and uh, jump into... Uh, the EQ settings, we're going to put it on test. That way I know everything is right. All right, as you can see here, we're on test. Let's back. Let me go ahead and switch to that one. All right. Now, change has been set. We got old money up. Let's go ahead and get into our preferred volume level. All right, let's go. Already, right out of the bat, right off the bat, rather, louder than the XM3s, XM4s, excuse me. All right. Nice, uh, nice, clear vocals. All right, let's go ahead and switch over. All right, I'm going to get a little bit more. All right, now we got the rest of the instruments in the back. I just want to make sure I got that in on the uh, test ver version. Nice sound stage. All right, let's add mine now. All 
All right. Got more of the uh sound more of the background uh, instruments. Sound stage got a little bit brighter. Great sound. Just sounds really, really good. This is a really good song to test on because you do get a uh, a feel for how the uh, the actual um, vocals and vocal sound on the on uh, with these earbuds, how clear the actual singer is. Uh, but again, very good sound. Already, I read out like, read off the shoot louder uh, overall volume, more overall volume than the XM fours but still a really good, uh, really good sound. All right, let's go ahead and switch over to Under Pressure. Let me go back to my test first. Let me get back there. All right, we're there. All right, let's go to Under Pressure. All right. Now you here on these ones, you get, you don't have, you have the thumping bass. But it's not overpowering the vocals. This is a, this is a great sound. Okay. Now the, it's just rumbling. It's just oh, it's just all right. Let's go ahead and put in my uh, sound setting in. Okay. Now it's a little deeper, but that bass is still thumping. And it's not taken away from the vo the from the uh, the vocalist from Tupac his vo his vocals. Very nice, very nicely done. Um, it does you get that rumble. It's not as uh, powerful as the XM4s where that bass was just like this brain brain rattling. It's not like that. X the XM4s have that locked down. But the bass is there, and it's 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 nice and it's it's nice and good. I'm it's powerful, but it's not as strong as uh, on the Sony's, like I said. And your your vocals aren't drowned out. It doesn't uh, force the uh, the vocals to take the back seat to the bass. They're more even keel, uh, so that way you're getting that good bass and you're getting the good vocals at the same time. Nicely done on that one. All right, let's go ahead and. Uh, Go back to test. And whoops, I ain't with that menu. I want this. Let's go go. Let's go ahead to going home. Here we go. All right. Nice warm uh start right off with the this background instruments, keyboards, and drums. Oh, that lead saxophone is nice and sharp. Let me see if we get some of that high. That's nice. Let me go ahead and put mine in. All right, a little bit more. <laughs> All right, let's go add my settings on. All right, it got a little clearer, a little sharper, the lead saxophone. Let me hit that high note. Oh yeah, that, that oh that's so good. Oh, the sound stage, the is wide open. The back just crystal clear. Man, these are really really good. Oh, okay, just fantastic sound. It was great sound when I had the uh, test in. They sound fantastic when everything was zeroed out. But then when I added my settings, the, the saxophone, lead saxophone became a lot sharper. The sound stage behind it, much wider, much brighter, just sound really good. Like you could just sit back in the chair, just relax and enjoy this song. Um, very good. These earbuds are definitely <laughs> going to be need to be reckoned with. All right. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and get this cleaned up and then I'm going to come back with my final thoughts on these. Stay strapped in. All right, we're back in with my final thoughts on 
uh, showdown number two of the Gauntlet series for the status between three A and C's and their opponent, the Sony WF 1000 XM fours. And I have to admit, this is why I like doing these comparisons. These are both really good earbuds and it was so much fun. Um, trying to uh, compare these two, uh, have them go head to head. Uh, and then it's only going to get better as I move up the, up, up the, my, the ladder of my ladder of some of my, uh, my top earbuds. It's only going to get better. Um, uh, it was just so much fun, um, doing this. All right. So quick, uh, what I think quickly, let's talk, start with the XM4s. Uh, they had great bass either when it was the EQ was zeroed out when I had my settings. However, uh, the, uh, mids and hot, the mids, uh, and and trouble uh they needed more of that i just feel like the bass um overpowered like the vocals like say for instance in the uh um when i was listening to tupac all those vocals was there but you feel like the bass was just overpowering it um overpowering the, the uh actual lyrical uh content um as far as with the uh you know the first song old money and then of course we're going home they kind of evened out. Uh, you you still got a lot of powerful bass, uh, but you you were able to. Um, it got cleaned up when those two different songs. Uh, they they did re represent much better, um, but you got more of that saying where the bass was um, uh, more up out from front than opposed to being uh, on on even kill with uh, the Miz and Treble. All right and. Now, if we take a look and we talk about the uh, status three, the between three A and C's, rather, uh, they had a great balance. Um, when it came to the Tupac song, the bass was there, it wasn't overpowering. So you did get uh, that even kill that you were looking for uh, when it came to the vocals and the bass and music. You got that even kill there. And then when you uh, I added my settings to it, it got brighter, but you didn't lose that. Which was which is uh, uh fantastic, and of course with uh old money, um it was great clarity when in, in the vocals and the sound stage was nice and bright uh when you um even when it was flat even when it was zeroed out and everything the EQ was zeroed out it, it still sound really bright with the uh, uh sound stage and everything all the background instruments it was just a really good sound and then of course with going home uh sound great i have my settings in there the the saxophone got a little sharper and it was noticeably a, a better uh sound so you know with that being said i'm going to have to link go with the uh three a's the between three a and c's mainly on the strength of the fact that the the xm4s like i said this is one of my favorite ones they're always to wear they're very comfortable, but we got to get that sound uh, right where it's the uh, bass and the mids and treble uh, are even. Um, that way you you will get a much better sound on these guys. But other than that, these are great earbuds to have uh, to listen with. Um, still waiting on that multi-point uh, connectivity, uh, connectivity update. But other than that, these are a really, really good set to listen to. Um, but on this one, I'll definitely have to go with the three A and C's. Uh, they're better overall um, compared to the XM fours. And I think I didn't even mention is their overall volume. They're louder than the XM fours uh, right off the bat. So, and I didn't even think to mention that. I forgot to mention that in my whole explanation. But their sound was so good it made me. <laughs> I overlooked that, but. They are a really good pair of earbuds. These are going to be, uh, these are something to be reckoned with. And they got a little ways to go because there's some other, some up on, on the list that, um, that it's going to make this e a lot more fun to do. And I can't wait to do these guys, this with you uh, on the next one. All right. So this again has been chapter or round two of the gauntlet series for the status between three A and C's. Uh, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to join me on this journey as we close in on a thousand subscribers, which I am humbled and uh, very grateful for, 
go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And also not only that, you'll be notified uh, when videos like this gauntlet series, the gauntlet series I have going on with the air fun uh, air, air pro threes uh, and other videos I got coming up. Um, you'll be notified by that, especially if you, you know, hit the notification bell along with that subscribe button. And we will continue to have fun again. Thanks for coming out and I'll see you on the next one. Three ANCs making that climb up the ladder. Let's see how far they go. Peace.